on guys, welcome back to our channel. Look who I have today. My son Bryson, who's doing much better. <laughs> Stop looking scary. <laughs> it's okay. Hi you guys. Um, today we have a um, Polish uh, pickles and onion and a little bit of mac and cheese. We just kind of wanted to um, just let you see that he's doing much better and just kind of chat with you a little bit. So we're pretty hungry on this end. So let's go ahead and dig in. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. Our day has been pretty busy. How are you feeling, Bryson? A lot better. Good. I'm happy to hear that. This is some more huh? So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. We just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit because we had like um, I saw like on Facebook, um, an issue with a little girl that happened and, um, the topic that we want to kind of discuss is bullying and like, how do you discuss with your child about bullying for one, bullying is wrong. And how do you like approach your child about bullying? Because it seems to me that the kids that have gotten into trouble, and I mean trouble, I mean, you know what I mean, trouble. Um, I mean, doing something to yourself bad and it's too late at that point. Um, they're, for some reason, scared to talk to their parents. And I just want to just shout out to the parents and just say, maybe talk to your child, maybe on a daily basis, but um, in a way that they don't know that you're talking to them about bullying so much, just kind of maybe talk about their feelings and things like that. And maybe they'll try to, you know, give you a little bit of their feelings. Um, I know it's not easy parents. I have four kids myself and it's really not easy. What are you okay? You enjoying yourself? Is it hot? No, I've been my, my uh, cheap. Oh, sorry about that. But, yeah. I know it's not easy to talk to kids about bullying. And sometimes, maybe the child feels like, well, if I say something, my parents not going to do anything or something like that. Doesn't ever know. My heart... My prayers go out to the children that are going through that and the families that have to deal with the aftermath of children that go too far after that. So, yeah, we're having smoked hot Polish today. We put pickles and onion on it. We're having some macaroni, a little bit of Gatorade, just so we can get on and just chat a little bit. So, Bryson, have you had any issues with bullying? A long time ago, mm -hmm. when I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to use my anger, so I just lash out, mm -hmm. and it got me in trouble worse than what I was supposed to do. And then the bully that was bullying me, I guess. Right. Anyway, so I just do stupid stuff instead of like, hey, this kid's mess with me. Right. Yeah. Kids handle things differently. And maybe you think you probably could have maybe came to me or maybe talked to the principal before you took things into your own hands next time. If something I mean, like that happens. As soon as I lash out, I mean, you wasn't really in a talking matter because I was in so much trouble. Yeah, that's true. Things have really went too far. <laughs> yeah, things have really went too far at that point. Um, and I think kids handle things differently. And for some reason, I don't even know why kids were trying to bully you as big as you were. You were bigger than them and everything, but I don't know, maybe because you have like a gentle soul. I guess they felt like they could, you know, bully you. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, 
It's not nice at any age. No, it's not. Especially in high school, in grade school. Cause you feel, you kind of feel alone when you were, like my freshman year, I felt kind of alone. Mm -hmm. Cause like, there was nobody there. Rob, my sister Robbie, she went to college. And mm -hmm. so I was just at the, at the house by myself with no other team figure, you know? So mm -hmm. I was just by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does feel kind of lonely when you're in high school by yourself and you don't have like another sibling to lean on or anything like that. That can feel lonely. But I just think maybe you can maybe speak with the guidance counselors or maybe like if you're in choir or something like that, a lot of times, you know, you have time before choir, after choir or something like that when your classes or home room Maybe you can try to reach out to one of the teachers and maybe they can try to help you if you can't talk to your parents. I feel there's a way around, you know, ain't going too far. And for my situation, it definitely went too far. But if it didn't go too far, I wouldn't have went to military school twice. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say... It was a good thing. I'm gonna say it was a good thing, but it was, I'm glad it wasn't you went to military thing. school, right? Because it kind of helped you mold you into, you know, a better person. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just putting a word out there about bullying. I just don't do it because you never know what the recipient is feeling. You never know. Also, like, what situation they have at home. Maybe they don't have a lot of funds. Maybe they don't have food. Or maybe they can't dress the way you feel like they should be dressing. But that's really no, none of your business. They still shouldn't try to, like, bully a child because of what they look like or the clothes that they have on. So, yeah, we're not going to be on here long. We just wanted to chat with you guys about bullying and let you guys kind of see Bryson. He's feeling much better, and we thank God for that. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and end it now. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.